then the next consideration would be, okay, where to hang the food bag? Looking for a suitable tree. <clears throat> and I see it's pretty slim pickings. Because these trees have uh, branches that are so high up. Um, you know, or hardly any branches that stick out. You kind of want one that, uh, you kind of want one that comes out sort of horizontally from the tree. The best a bear can hope for is to try to pull the bag down, pull the cord down or something, but the bear can't pull the cord. Bears don't have thumbs. So I saw this branch right here. That's about the best one around here that I could see, but I don't really know if it's strong enough. Is that a strong enough branch coming out sideways to hang my food bag on? Seems like that might also depend on uh, how many days worth of food I got in there and how heavy it is. So if I'm down to not very much food, it might be okay. If I've got a lot of food, I don't know. We got a mighty rushing wind coming through here. It feels great as a breeze. In some kind of mini rainstorm. But if it does, I guess we'll deal with it. It was amazing to hear it coming and not really be able to tell which direction it was coming from. And now it seems to be dying down. After passing through a very shady portion of forest <laughs> where the temperature is about five to ten degrees lower than it is outside of it we finally come to the end of the hunter's ridge trail spill out onto this road here all right that was 2.75 miles and this is, uh, I think, the state park boundary right about here. And those are uh, state game lands down there. So now we go down this road a little ways. And then we're looking for the Lowlands Trail. Who's making all that racket out there? Frogs. Here it is, the Lowlands Trail. Don't pick the leeks. Are they indeed frogs of some kind? And did they hear us and now they're staying still? Something under the water. Maybe that's what I've been hearing the whole time. <clears throat> the, the very first noise I heard, which I thought was a, a wild turkey gobbling. But then it went completely silent when I got close. Never did see a turkey or anything. But now I'm wondering if these noises are frogs of some kind. Sounds like a combination of, you know, like loud cricket or cicada type noises that you hear at night, plus gobbling. It's really weird. Here, I guess we have the west branch of Ty, is it Tyanesta Creek?
yeah, Tyonesta Creek. And we should be heading headed toward a swinging bridge. After we cross that, we take a left along an old railroad grade and follow that into the campground. Swinging bridge. Okay. Oh, well, it feels pretty stable. Okay, but it does sway a little bit. You can see it swaying. Okay, now I can start to feel a little. <clears throat> if you change your gait, that will uh, prevent, you know, sort of resonance from setting up that makes the thing shake more and more and more.